How to convince someone to trust you again. Losing someone's trust can be painful for everyone involved. While it's not always easy, convincing someone to trust you again is possible if you're patient and attentive. Whether it's a friend, family member, or lover, there are things you can do to win back their trust. Apologizing effectively. Gather your thoughts. It can be intimidating to make a difficult apology. It's normal to feel nervous. Take some time to plan ahead and figure out what you want to say. Make a list of your main points. This list should include an apology, an acceptance of responsibility, and a statement of how you plan to make amends. Practice what you want to say. You can try the apology out loud while looking in the mirror. Ask for time to talk. Try saying, Lauren, I know you're upset with me. Is there a time this week when we could sit down and have a conversation? Express your feelings. If you want to regain someone's trust, you have to have a serious talk with them. If you have wronged someone, the appropriate thing to do is apologize. Begin by stating how you feel. If you are trying to rebuild a friendship, tell your friend how you are feeling. You can say, Sue, I feel very bad that I betrayed your trust. I know it will be hard, but I would like for us to work on repairing our friendship. State your intentions. If you are communicating with a romantic partner, try saying, I want us to be able to trust one another and I will do what it takes to make that happen. Be sincere. Whatever you say during your apology, make sure that you mean it. The other person might be able to tell if you're lying, and that will only further damage your relationship. Accept responsibility. If you are apologizing, then you have something to be sorry for. In order to regain someone's trust, you need to demonstrate that you know what you did wrong. Your apology should include an acknowledgement or your actions. Make it clear that you know what you did wrong. If you are trying to regain trust in a professional relationship, you should use specific examples. Try saying, I made a mistake when I did not carefully proofread those documents. I know it cost the company money. This shows that you understand the ramifications of your actions. You should also use specific examples when talking to a friend. For example, you could say, John, it was wrong of me to lie and say I had to work late. If I'm going out with other friends, I should just be honest and tell you that. Actively listen. A constructive conversation is one that has more than one participant. After you have said what you want to say, give the other person a chance. Take steps to show that you are listening. Use your body language. Nod your head and make eye contact while the other person is talking. Rephrase the main points. This will show that you are retaining what is being said. For example, you can say, I hear you saying that you have lost faith in me and that it will take time to rebuild that trust. Write a letter. A face-to-face apology is always the best option. Unfortunately, that is not always possible. Maybe you live far away from the other person, or maybe they are not willing to speak to you. If that is the case, you can try an apology letter. Write a handwritten letter. This is more personal than an email. You should never make an important apology via text. Edit your letter. It might take you a couple of drafts to get the right tone and content. Your letter should be concise and to the point. Try to make it about three paragraphs. Your first paragraph can offer the apology, the second should acknowledge responsibility, and the third can describe how you would like to solve the problem. 